Hi, boys and girls at Robert Morris School. Today, we are gonna talk about what is an acceptable use policy. That sounds like a really big word. Let's explore to find out more. So the Robert Moore School does have an acceptable use policy. It is an agreement between the school, meaning Dr. Goki, our principal, and your teachers, your parents, and you, that makes everyone work safely online. The purpose of the acceptable use agreement is that we all agree to work in a safe place online so that way we can learn and grow and meet all of our learning goals while also being respectful and kind and safe with one another. Let's talk about that a little bit more. So some key things that we are gonna talk about today. Be aware of what you share, be a cyber leader, and tools, not toys. Let's check this out. So first things first, always be aware of what you share. You never want to share personal information about yourself online. Your safety is very important. This means that you don't wanna share where you live, you don't wanna share the names of your parents or your address or your phone number to any stranger online. If somebody asks you for this information, you should contact a trusted adult like a teacher or a parent or any other adult who you trust to help you. Next, we always talk about being a leader in our school. Can you be a cyber leader? A cyber leader is someone who treats others with respect online and treats other people the way they would like to be treated. You have to be kind to everyone, even on the computer. Remember, cyberbullying is still bullying, and we don't want that at Robert Morris School. Tools, not toys. We talk about this a lot in math and science, how our math tools and science tools are tools to help us learn. They're not toys. Technology is the same thing, especially in the classroom. Please remember that technology is a learning tool. It is not a toy for us to play with. And when we are using technology in the classroom, we want to focus on our educational goals and we want to stay on task. Let's talk about some do's and don'ts. Do, listen to your teacher and parents. Use polite words to friends online. Ask from to, uh, for help from a trusted adult and treat technology like a learning tool. Don't share personal information like with anyone, especially where you live or where you go to school. Don't say hurtful things to people. You wouldn't want somebody to say that to you in person, so you definitely wouldn't want them to say it to you online. And make sure you treat your technology like a tool. Don't treat it like a toy. Let's practice with some examples. All right, boys and girls, you can get to work on your project. If anyone needs any help or runs into any problems with the computers, just let me know and I'll be right over to help you. Just raise your hand. Miss Beth, Miss Beth, I think I have a problem. So I by accident logged into a game instead of the computer program we're supposed to be doing on Google Docs for the project. And I was on this game website, which I wasn't supposed to be on. And I got this weird message and it asked me where I lived and where I went to school and what my name was and how old I was. And I don't know what to do. Can you help me? Oh my goodness, I'm so happy that you called me over. Of course I can help you. Let's talk about this though. First things first, we never give out our information to anybody. So I'm so glad that you came to me as a trusted adult. I can definitely help you get off of this program and I can make sure we report it to who it needs to be reported to. This could have been very unsafe if you gave out your private information to someone you didn't know online. Second, should we have been playing a game instead of doing our schoolwork? No. Remember, when the teacher gives you a project to do on a specific website, it is a website that the teacher, a trusted adult, trusts as a safe website for you. So make sure that you're not going on any other websites that you shouldn't be going on, especially when you're in school. All right, boys and girls. So what did we learn from that? We learned a few things. One, we should stay on the correct websites that we're supposed to be on that our teachers ask us to be on. Two, we never share personal information with each other, okay? These are two really good examples of what we have talked about today. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed those examples. As a reminder, the three most important things that we need to remember, be aware of what you share, 
Use technology like a tool, not like a toy. And always remember to be a cyber leader. For more information about our acceptable use policy, please visit the South Boundbrook K-8 website, which is above. I will also link it below the video. Um, I hope you enjoy this information. And if you need anything else or have any other questions for me, you always know where to find me. Bye, boys and girls. Be good cyber leaders.